welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is caitlin and i post disney videos and lifestyle kind of videos here on my channel um so if you are interested in that kind of stuff then you can subscribe down below i would really really appreciate it today i'm going to be doing another top 10 video so i did one of these for my top 10 disney snacks um, from walt disney world um a, maybe about a month ago and I loved that video so much. I loved like really testing myself to figure out and really like hammer down like, okay, you have to be serious and you have to know what you're picking. Um, so I did the same thing with my top 10 rides at Walt Disney World. Um, so this is just Walt Disney World. This isn't including Disneyland or any other Disney parks. So these are going to be my top 10 rides. I've listed them from my, like I've listed them down from 10 to one, um, one being my absolute most favorite. And I know that a lot of you probably already know what my number one is, but we'll get there. Um, I'll kind of explain why they're my favorite. I'll explain what park they're in, um, in case you don't know. Um, and if applicable and if I can remember, I can tell you what tier they are in, if they're in a tiered system for fast passes, um, if you are interested in grabbing some of those for fast passes for an upcoming trip. So without further ado and without me rambling anymore, let's get into the video. Okay, so starting off at number 10, my 10th favorite ride at Walt Disney World is Soren, and Soren is in Epcot in the Land Pavilion, I believe. It is a kind of ride where you're in like a hang glider um like it feels like you're in a hang glider and you're like going over the world and you go through different areas and you kind of like swoop down and it really feels like you're flying and you get these beautiful smells when you go over certain areas or you kind of get like water sprayed in your face not like intense water but like a misting um and it's just like a really fun ride and i feel like it's in my top 10 because one, it's really like, it was like the first of its kind almost, I feel like, that I ever experienced at least. Um, and I just like, I have such good memories because that was like my favorite ride when we went for our very first trip when I was like eight or nine. Um, so like, I just love, love, love Soren. So I have to include it in my top 10. Okay, coming in at number nine, this one is also in Epcot and it is Frozen Ever After. And I think this, so this one's a really popular ride um, and it's basically like the story of Frozen. You kind of like go through a boat and it's in the Norway Pavilion in Epcot. And I just love it so much because I love the animatronics on it and that the animatronics faces are like screams almost. And it just feels really like nice. I don't know, I just love going on that ride. I feel like it, Everybody says it's like overrated because it's short and it's not worth the wait. But if you can get a fast pass for it or if you can like run there right in the morning, like I 100% think it's worth it. I think it's so fun. I always laugh on it. The first time Austin and I ever went on it, um, we did not know that there would be a little bit of a splash and we got a little bit of a splash and a lot of water on our butts. So we walked around Epcot for about half the day with wet butts. So. I just thought that was funny. Um, also, that is a tier one fast pass. Coming in at number eight, this is a newer ride. Um, and I've put it up fairly like low on my list, I guess, just because it doesn't have the sentimental factor to me. It's an incredible ride, but it just, because it's so new, it just, it, it doesn't really, you know, like there's other rides that I'm just like, oh, like it reminds me of my, like when I was a kid. But anyways, we'll get into it. This ride is Smuggler's Run. So this ride is Smuggler's Run and it is a new ride and basically it's like you're in the Millennium Falcon and you're given a like roll, I guess, when you get on the when you get onto the ship. And you're either a pilot, you're a gunner or an engineer. And when you get your assigned role, um, you basically are in control of those things when you're on the ship. Depending on how well you do, really depends on how your mission goes, um, which is really cool about it. And that's why I think it's so fun. Um, it's definitely the most fun if you are the pilot, but if you are the engineer or the gunner, I feel like it's not as fun um, as when you're the pilot. That is also why it's a little bit higher up on my list, um, just because 
you're not guaranteed like the most fun every single time you go on the ride, in my opinion. So coming in at number seven, we are moving over to the Magic Kingdom finally, my, probably my favorite park. Um, but number seven is the Haunted Mansion. And the only reason I put it up so high, like or I don't put it up higher on my list is because it is just like an, a one moving kind of ride. Like it's just, you go through the, the Haunted Mansion and that's that's the ride right there but i love that ride so much i could ride it over and over and over again we have to ride it at least 10 times every single time we go to disney so it is by no means a least favorite ride um it is definitely one of my favorites and i love the haunted mansion so so much coming in at number six is another um attraction that is in the magic kingdom and it is space mountain so the reason i put space mountain here is because sometimes when i go on it it hurts my head and sometimes when you go on it it's really fast and then other times it feels like you're going really slow so that's why it's one of those things where it's like not every time you go on it you're like guaranteed a great experience um but it still is one of my favorite rides we always have to ride it whenever we go and during the halloween party if you ever get the opportunity when all the lights are pitch black you can't see anything it's pretty fun because even if you kind of know the track you don't really know because you're in literal pitch black it's really fun okay number five so we are halfway through the list and it is going to be big thunder mountain um this is also obviously in magic kingdom and it's just like one of the classic rides like it's like just a good roller coaster it's really fun um I don't know i just i love that ride so so much um and it's just like a classic so i big thunder mountain number five okay now we're getting into like the top of the top this is where i had to be ruthless some people are definitely not going to agree with this pick <laughs> they probably think it should be higher on the list but this is my list you can make your list number four for me is flight of passage and I love Flight of Passage, don't get me wrong, but I think if somebody's gonna wait in line for three hours, you're crazy. Don't do it. Don't do it for that ride. It's not, it's not that worth it. Just get a fast pass or get there really early. Um, it is so, so magical. Um, the first time I ever rode Flight of Passage, I cried because I just thought it was like breathtaking. It was so stunning. Um, if you don't know, Flight of Passage is basically like you're riding on the back of a banshee from the movie Avatar, which is like, I guess it's like this big kind of dragon thing. I don't really know how to explain it, if somebody knows how to explain it. Um, but you're on it and you kind of are on it like a motorcycle. Um, so it feels like you're actually riding the, the banshee and then it kind of moves up and down. It's very similar to Soren. Some people might disagree with that, but it is very similar to Soren. Um, but yeah like it's just it's really cool um it's just i don't think it's worth the wait on that ride in my opinion still an amazing ride though okay we are into the top three coming in at number three is animal kingdom um it is a ride that got me into liking roller coasters when i was little and it is expedition everest i love expedition everest that is one ride that truly I could ride over and over and over again. That is a roller coaster. Um, I just think it's so fun and I'm always laughing whenever I'm on it and it's just the right amount of thrill, but it's not too much where you feel like you're gonna throw up every time you ride it. Yeah, it's just like, I don't know, it's amazing. If you've never been on it, it's basically like you're going up Mount Everest and there's an issue with the track and then there's this whole thing with the yeti and it's like it's really really fun um i have gotten stuck on it a couple times not for very long but we have gotten stuck on it a couple times and it's still fun i get a little bit nervous but it's still really fun um so yeah that is my number three number two this one these were hard for me to kind of like rank in like my three two one but i feel like this is like a pretty accurate ranking number two is a ride in hollywood studios and it i would never expect this to be my favorite ride hearing about what it is um but i love this ride so much 
it again is another ride I could ride over and over and over again. This ride is the Tower of Terror and I like when I first heard about I don't want to spoil anything if you've never been on so all I will say because the people that have ridden this will know what I mean when I heard about Tower of Terror you know it's a drop that's about as far as I thought it would go but there's a lot more to it and I think that's what took me away so much and I was like oh my gosh this is so creative this is amazing so that is why I love it so much and also, I don't think this, like, this doesn't really give anything away. There are a bunch of different drop patterns, um, so you don't really know when you're going to drop kind of thing, and I love that. I think it's so funny. Every time I ride that ride, I'm just laughing, and I, like, just think it's the funniest thing ever, and yes, it's, like, so fun. So, Tower of Terror number two. And finally, coming in at number one, this is gonna come to no surprise, I don't think, to any of like my like viewers or anybody who knows me. Um, but number one is Splash Mountain, and I don't know why it's my favorite because I feel like it's so many people's like least favorite. But I just love that it includes everything. It includes a drop. It includes water. It includes a roller coaster bit to it. It includes um like kind of the like slower attractions where you're like seeing animatronics it has a storyline to it it's just like it has everything and i love splash mountain so so much and i that is truly one ride that i would wait three plus hours for if if i couldn't get a fast pass and it was my last day and i hadn't ridden it yet a hundred percent million percent i would wait three hours for that ride it is my all-time favorite ride I know a lot of people won't agree with me on that one, but it is my favorite ride. I love it so, so much. And um, yeah, so that is my top 10 picks. And there are a couple on there that are fan favorites that I didn't mention. Um, they might fall into my least favorite rides, if I'm honest. There's a couple on the top of my head. Um, but I did want to give an honorable mention to Kilimanjaro Safari in um, Animal Kingdom. The only reason this ride does not make my list is because now this is just a personal thing, but I really struggle to enjoy my time on that ride because of other people. And I try not to let other people affect me. I really, I'm really good with like keeping it myself and like if people want to do what they want to do, they can do it. But when somebody tells you who's driving a vehicle, a massive vehicle, around animals, around anywhere, if they tell you to keep your children sitting or to not use flash photography at night, or if they tell you um, you need to be quiet, whatever, if they give you a rule, follow the rule, please. That is my biggest pet peeve ever is anybody in life who just doesn't really follow rules like that is like <laughs> my type one coming out through and through it, it really pains me every time i go on that ride like there's always something that happens where i just i feel so uncomfortable and so ir irritated that it really just kind of like affects my mood for the whole ride and yeah like i love that ride so much i think it's so cool that you get to drive through this like african savannah and you get to like see all these real animals in like a natural <laughs> habitat um i think it's so fun but please parents i'm not trying to teach you how to parent but if a cast member or if somebody tells you like look like please keep your children seated don't let them stand whatever it's for their safety it's not because they're trying to ruin your experience at disney it's for their safety so that's what i'll say about that but that is why it's an honorable mention because not because it's not a great ride it's just because the experience that i receive nine out of ten times i go on that ride is like not nah, the best in the world so that is why it's just in an honorable mention but with that little spiel there, um, that is my list of my top 10 favorite rides at Walt Disney World. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think. Let me know what some of your favorite rides are in Walt Disney World. Let me know if any of the rides I mentioned are like definitely not your favorite rides. I would like seriously love to know because I love to know other people's opinions on this kind of stuff. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!